Windows 8 offers a couple options for showing off your photos. The Start Screen's Photos app works best for quickly showing photos to friends. It pulls in photos from your social networks, like Facebook and Flickr, and makes it easy to display all your photos from within one program. The Photos app does lack one thing, though. Options. It won't rotate a sideways photo so it's right side up. You can't see the date you snapped a photo, or which camera took it. It can't print or crop. But when you want to show off your photos without a lot of fuss, it works just fine. To use it, click the Photos tile on the Start screen. These tiles represent your main photo storage areas. The photos in your picture library area live on your own PC. You can see these photos even when you're not connected to the Internet. Your SkyDrive photos live on Microsoft's huge Internet-connected PCs, but you can access them from any Internet-connected PC. The Facebook area shows all the photos you've uploaded to your Facebook account. And finally, the Flickr photos come from your account on Flickr, one of the many photo-sharing sites. Click a storage area to see its photos. Then right-click the screen to see the storage area's app bar, which offers a variety of menus. If you're using a touchscreen, just slide your finger up from the screen's bottom edge to see the app bar. To navigate between folders, click this left pointing arrow. Or to delete a photo, right-click it and then click the delete icon. To see a photo full screen, click it. Use this arrow to move from photo to photo. On a touch screen, tap a photo to view it full screen and then tap the side arrows or drag your finger across the screen to browse your photos. Right click the full screen photo to see the app bar. Choose the Set As icon for options to set the current photo as the background for either the lock screen, the photo app's start screen tile, or the background for the Photos app itself. If you're looking at a photo that a friend has to see, email it to them. Open the Charms bar, click the Share icon, and click Mail. To view a slideshow of the current folder, right-click any photo, and then click the slideshow icon on the app bar. To exit the slideshow, click any photo. And when you're ready to exit the Photos app and head for the Start screen, press the Windows key, or fetch the Charms bar and click the Start icon. The desktop's photo management tools offer more control than the Start screen's Photos app, but they do have one drawback. Unlike the Photos app, the desktop's photo viewer only shows photos stored on your own PC not photos stored elsewhere, like on Flickr and Facebook. You'll have to go online with the desktop's version of Internet Explorer to see the photos on those sites. To use the desktop's way of photo management, click the desktop's app tile on the Start screen. There's one problem. When you double-click a photo from your desktop's picture library, the Start screen's Photos app butts in to open the photo. To let the desktop's Windows Photo Viewer program take over, right-click any photo and select Open With. When the pop-up menu appears, select Choose Default Program. Click Windows Photo Viewer. Now you can double-click a photo from the desktop, and the Photo Viewer opens the photo. To browse your photos from the desktop's Pictures Library, double-click a folder's icon. On the View tab, the Picture Library's Sort By option offers oodles of ways to sort quickly through thousands of photos by clicking different words, dates, and tags listed on the Sort By drop-down list. Right-click any photo and choose Preview to see a larger view in Photo Viewer. Return to the Pictures Library by closing Photo Viewer. 
The options in the Sort By drop-down list let you sort your photos in a few different ways. You can sort by the date taken, which is helpful if you want to view photos in a timeline. Or you can view them by tags, if you've added tags. View by date to sort the photos by the day you added them to your PC. Or sort by dimensions, which will help if you're trying to find out which photos are taking up the most space on your computer. Handy if you're running out of storage room.